welcome back to my channel i am going to do a braces q a today so we'll start with anything sparkly you know kind of like i'm wearing right now oh how good is this lip gloss though oh <laughs> Take your nose and push it down. See that? Of course I got braces because I wanted to straighten out my teeth, right? I had this giant twisty boy. Very, very prominent. I hated it when my teeth first came in. I learned to live with it because braces simply were not an option for me growing up. Um, they were just way too expensive. I don't know. I never smiled in my school pictures. The school photographers would always be like, show your teeth, uh, smile. But of course I would do the smile, soft smile where you're unamused. And I just uh, didn't have confidence in my smile. Another main reason I got braces is because your oral hygiene is highly influenced by how orthodontically sound your teeth are. Um, so my contacts were really tight, couldn't really floss that well. Um, I got my first cavity at age 20 uh, and then I got two more after that. So I've had three cavities, which sucks. Um, but both of my parents have periodontal disease. I don't want my teeth falling out anytime soon and having nice straight well cared for teeth helps that. So not only have I gotten braces because of the aesthetic reasons but also for my health. I was quoted $5,000 for my treatment. Um, and that's all comprehensive including everything, x-rays, uh, 3D scans, all of that. I also have orthodontic coverage, so I only end up paying $145 every six weeks for the duration of my treatment. Uh, 12 months, or so they say. I am 27 weeks in as of today, so maybe a little bit longer than that once I post this. But yeah, halfway, all right? Not too bad, yeah? But yeah, I'm really happy with my progress so far, and honestly, I think the price, I would pay this a thousand times over. I am so thankful to be in a position where I can afford them after wanting them for so long and not being able to. I, it's the best investment I've ever made. Every six weeks, um, in the beginning, wow, I went a lot, and I'm sure it was a little bit irritating for them, for me to be coming in. But anyway, um, yeah, during the beginning I had a crossbite thing going on right here. But when my incisor and canine were passing by each other, like I, I ended up chipping my tooth. So I had to go in, I got bite blockers, those are horrendous. Bite blockers could be their own video, but I ended up grinding through them because I clenched my teeth really hard at night, apparently. They gave me really bad headaches, it was awful. So I went in again, got the bite blockers ground off, got some composite. That was so ugly, but it helped, it was shaped in a ramp, it helped push the tooth forward, and then I went back in and got the composite, crowned off, and then it was smooth sailing from there. Recently, um, the figure eight help, helps hold the arch wire in tighter to help derotate the tooth more efficiently. Um, now... I have a bend in my arch wire, it's a step out bend to derotate the tooth. Do rubber bands? Hey, do you wear rubber bands? Is it hard to talk with rubber bands? How bad do rubber bands hurt when you first skip them? Alright, 
So, yes, I had rubber bands. I had these. And I had them in a triangle formation. I could probably do a video on, on how to do these. But basically, I had rubber bands like this. And they get easier to put in. Um, so, question, is it hard to talk with them in? I don't think I'm really having a problem right now. Um, I only had to wear these at night, so it wasn't too much of a hassle. Um, did they hurt? Uh, yeah. I definitely woke up a few times in the night and had to take them out because my teeth were throbbing so bad, but I promise you, get used to them. Um, I, I don't need these anymore, so I'm going to take these right out. You will find these absolutely everywhere in your house. Yep. They sure do. Maybe I'll do a video that's like first day of braces. Uh, but yeah, so braces hurt a lot your first week. Um, it gets better, I promise. Well, it took me about a month for all my inner lip business to get used to it, especially these hooks. Because you're, uh, my lips kept getting caught on them and it was just quite painful. Uh, but you get used to it, ibuprofen, whatever you want for pain relief, that will be your best friend. Cold water helped me a lot, and aura gel for sores, um, wax will be your best friend, uh, especially on your, uh, hooks, um, but, yeah. Uh, all the time. Um, I got silver to begin with, and I thought that was really nice. Um, so I stuck with it until, you know, I was having all those adjustments in the beginning, and then I got black and purple for Halloween. Um, I would suggest not getting holiday themed colors, especially if your appointments are six weeks apart, um, because you're gonna have an awkward time after the holiday where you have the holiday color, and I had Halloween teeth well into November up until Thanksgiving and I hated it. I had black and purple. The purple faded grossly. The black was looked like ants crawling across my teeth or like raisins or or even in photos my teeth look rotted out. So if if you want ants, raisins or rotten teeth then like definitely get black but I wouldn't I stuck with silver for most of it. I just got teal on my last adjustment at 22 weeks and I love the teal. And I eat coffee, sodas, um, pre-workout, crystal light, all kinds of really nasty staining things and I'm all set. The number one thing is just brush your teeth after. Don't get anything light if you eat any of the uh, things that I just said. Um, do not eat curry or turmeric. No matter what color you get, it will get nasty. So I can also do a video about food to eat. I have a highlight on my Insta, at Molly Wears Braces, uh, that you can check out for things that I like to eat and stuff. What don't you eat? Your orthodontist will give you a list of foods not to eat, like caramel, crunchy things, like Doritos, chips, no chewy things like Sour Patch, Twizzlers, no hard things like pretzels or apples or cucumbers or crusty breads like bagels or crusty baguette. Though there are a lot of foods that I did not eat in the beginning. You get braver. You get over that. The only food I won't eat now is popcorn or caramel. That Those both still feel really unsafe, but I will suck on uh, Sour Patch and Doritos now and rip up a bagel to eat. Um, so if you're gonna eat something you shouldn't be, at least suck on it or rip it up so that you're not just biting straight into it um, so that you don't pop off a bracket. And I have not popped off a bracket yet, so just be super duper careful. 
Have you had any of your teeth shaved? Yes, quite a lot. Um, they call this IPR interproximal reduction or something. Um, so that's when they take some sandpaper floss and <laughs> between your teeth uh, to make a little bit of room. So if you have some crowding that only needs a millimeter or so to resolve, they will shave in between your teeth. It's uncomfortable just because you know what's happening, but it doesn't actually hurt. So don't be afraid of IPR. It's really not that bad and you'll see results really soon. No, it's not bad. The only bad thing is, you know, feeling a little bit awkward going to work the next day and uh, you have braces. But honestly, they're so commonplace, nobody thinks anything of it. Um, so just go to work, own it, smile, just move on with your life, you know? I definitely get mistaken as younger now. Um, at my last adjustment, the lady at the desk asked me if I needed a note to go back to school. <sighs> I'm 24. I work at a college. No, I don't need a note to, to go back to school. <sighs> most and least favorite thing about braces, most favorite, they are teeth jewelry, you know? Like, you can take some really cool pictures, put out some cool lipstick. Um, so I think that's the coolest part. Least favorite thing? You get so much food stuck in your teeth. I think my least favorite thing to eat is clementines because they get all the oh, really bad. So I'd say least favorite thing is brushing my teeth all the time after everything I eat. It's such a hassle and I, I just don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, I had to get my wisdom teeth out. It was oral surgery. Open your mouth and let me spit in it. Ah. On that note, I, I'm gonna end that here.